Okay. Uh, assalamualaikum. Uh, so in the last video we have completed the solar heat gain in the section A. So for, so for this video we are going to complete the section B to calculate transmission heat gain. Okay, solar heat gain that we have done before uh, is the calculation to calculate heat from the solar and for the transmission heat gain is the heat from the air in the outside or air of the surrounding outside of the building so we have to calculate by taking consideration all the sides of wall either from north south east or west okay so we start now by calculate the all glass area first okay back to the example of the problem we know we have one two three four five six and seven glass windows plus one door with glass win uh, glass door so let's calculate the area of the glass okay uh, by referring to the information is given uh, north there are three units at the east wall there, are, there is one unit west one unit and south two units all the window glass or glass windows have the same dimension 4 feet by 6 feet so we calculate area of glass windows for north 3 times 4 feet times 6 feet so you are going to get 24 72 square feet okay is one unit times four feet times six feet you will get 24 square feet west same as it is one times four times six also equal to 24 square feet at the south wall we have two units of window four times six feet and you get 48 square feet okay sum up all the area of the windows you will get 72 plus hmm, wait for a second i try using calculator 72 plus 24 plus 24 plus 48 equal to 168 square feet and we have one unit of draw one unit of draw one time six time seven feet the square area the area of the weight of the jaw is 42 square feet so sum up all windows plus jaw square feet okay put the value of 210 into the form here okay 210 square feet you have to times with table 9 and then time with temperature difference in Fahrenheit value okay so let's refer to the reference value table 9 
Oke. Okay. Okay. External wall because all the walls are external and the material of the window or glass. So you have get the value 1.13 for the U and put it into the table 9 coefficient 1.13 okay times the temperature difference okay where you have to find the value of temperature difference actually the temperature difference is already calculated at the early of our video Okay, temperature difference, which is this one. Temperature difference of dry bulb temperature, 70 degrees. So put it 17 into this column, 17. Okay, so 210 times 1.13 times 70 you will get 4034.1 okay one step done so we go to the next step we have to calculate the wall the wall is all the area of the wall um, and you subtract with the glass area okay we refer back to the floor plan we have four walls north east south and west and you have dimension 50 feet 50 feet time 30 feet so we have to calculate the area gross area of the wall 50 times the height which is 10 feet 10 square 10 feet high and we have two walls the same walls at north and south so you will get 500,000 square feet okay for the wall at the west and east also are similar so 2 times 30 times 10 result into 600, 300, 600 square feet so the total gross area 1600 square feet okay by the way this 1600 square feet is the gross area including the glass material so to get the concrete or cement wall real concrete or cement wall we have to deduct 1600 square feet by the area of the glass which is we have calculated before 210 so you will get one three nine oh square feet okay one three nine oh okay, put it here one three nine oh okay once again we have two times with the table nine coefficient u u unit heat transfer coefficient you can refer at the table 9 okay table 9 also all the walls are external wall but uh, this time we have different material uh, okay what is the material refer back to the information of the building walls are built up from the four and hunch for an half inch brick wall with cement plaster on both sides 
brick wall four and a half inch brick wall this one okay so the value of u is 0 0.48 okay put it back into the form 0 0.48 Okay, let's confirm but okay 0 0.48 okay and now we have to calculate to, to multiply with temperature difference but the temperature difference have to minus 5 okay so 17 minus 5 results to 12 okay so we just only have to multiply with 12 okay so to get the value of transmission heat gain through the wall we have to multiply 1390 times 0 0.48 times 12 okay the value is nine zero zero six point four btu per hour Okay, let's see. Do we have the partition in this building? Um, refer back to the floor plan or inf building information. We don't have any partition in the office. So we can ignore the partition part. Okay, uh, ceiling and roof. Okay, we have to calculate the ceiling and roof. Okay, the, to get the value of area for ceiling okay we have to assume ceiling area is similar to the floor area so ceiling area equal to fifty feet time thirty feet one thousand and five hundred square feet okay refer table 9 once again table 9 roof ceiling and floor okay uh, this one we have to put 0 0.25 okay sorry uh, 4 inch concrete flat with suspended ceiling board so okay we have to put this value instead of 0 0.25 okay i'm sorry my mistake so take 0 0.21 value and put it into the form 0 0.21 Temperature difference also seventeen. Okay, so let's calculate zero one thousand five hundred times zero point two one times seventy degree, and the result is five three five five BTU per hour. Okay, next step is to calculate the floor. Okay. Uh, before you continue to calculate the floor, you have to conclude first. What you have to conclude? Okay, if there is more than one story building, so you have to calculate the floor transmission heat gain. But in this example, we only have one story or one floor only. So under the floor is just the soil or just the land or just the sand because this is the ground floor 
so we don't have to calculate the floor transmission heat gain if we only have one story which is the floor is at the ground floor so in this case we don't have to calculate floor transmission heat gain okay okay the next step is to calculate the infiltration okay for this example we assume that there is no infiltration but in the real life there is there is and always infiltration happen but for this example we just ignore it to make it simpler calculation okay So we also have to calculate infiltration in this case. So uh, we almost complete transmission heat gain calculation. Um, before that, you have to sum up all three values to get the total B. 403, 4.1. Plus eight zero zero six point four plus five three five five result into one seven three nine five point five BTU per hour. So uh, that's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to complete the C part, which is the internal heat. Internal heat is the heat generated by the inside items or person or electrical appliance in the building okay so till the next video thank you and bye bye